worldwide exclusive. Yo, Gibby gang, stand up with your boy. Show some love to my man Keith G over on Patreon for today's request. He's back at it with Creed. He requests Creed over and over and over again, and I'll never get sick of it. Today we got My Own Prison. He said this is basically the song that put him on the map. This is from their debut studio album. Uh, what was it? The, the album's actually called My Own Prison. Dropped in 1997. Your boy was only two years old. Not to make any of y'all old heads feel old, but I'm just saying, that's the facts. Is what it is. <laughs> the album was released independently by the band's record label, Blue Collar Records uh, in 97, but then was released by Wind Up Records. Uh, that's really irrelevant information for me as a listener. Scott Stapp leading the charge on the vocals. Mark Tremonti, my man, of course, on the guitar, backing vocals, co-lead vocals as well on this song. Brian Marshall on the bass and Scott Phillips on the drum. So this is my fifth Creed reaction. I'm excited for it. I don't think I got to rant any longer. I'm going to put the, the noggin plugs in so we can get bumping and thumping. Set the rant over here. We'll break it down at the end because I'm sure with the lyrics and, and Creed always making me think and really get into that, that thought box, I'll be ready to evaluate. So let's get it popping. Okay, I, I get what he's saying now. This, the court is in session. The verdict is in my own prison. This, and he's talking about sin. This is talking about final judgment. So this is talking about like after you die, after everything, all the stones have been turned and, and rolled over, and you've had the chance to accept Christ as your savior. If you haven't, you're gonna be found guilty. That's what he's talking about. His skin is burning. So he's in hell, or he's on the way to hell, and it's, it's starting to get real toasty. Now some people take that the wrong way, and. Take it as it is, you have all the chances and opportunity in the world. God gives you all the opportunity in the world to, to try to rid yourself of sin as much as possible, and none of us are perfect. That's why he sent Jesus. That's why the whole New Testament came about, because he felt sorry for us and all the evil. He didn't want to wipe us out again, so he sent his, his one and only son, for God so loved the world. Y'all know John 3, 16. Jesus came, took on the cross for, for our shortcomings. Jesus was perfect. He didn't have to do any of that. He took on... He sacrificed himself because he knew we could never be perfect. But through him, we have salvation. And if you fail to accept that, if you fail to accept the basic instructions before leaving earth, when you leave earth, you will be in your own prison. You you, you have to pay the piper. You, you, you set out your own path. And God gave you all the chance in the world to, to make things right, to, to look to his son, to look to him, to, to feel that Holy Spirit within you and, and, and pursue goodness, pursue kindness, pursue, y'all know what it is if you don't. Get to studying, get to, get to following it. Again, when I held, when I hold this up, this is by no means me saying I'm better than you, goody two shoes, think I'm perfect. No, this is me humbly saying I am not perfect. I am flawed. I've been diving. Come on now. I, I'm, I'm a, I was a scumbag of a man before my wife and I'm still not perfect. Never going to be. That's why I need Jesus. That's why I keep continuing to turn to this. So if you fail to do that before you die, I, come on now. <laughs> There has to be repercussions for your actions. You have to be held accountable. That just is the way it is. That's not that's not a, a, a proof against God. That's God being so loving, so caring that he he's, he wants you to do better. He wants you to look to him. And if you don't, hey, it's going to get toasty. Just saying. That it sits wrong with some people, but hey. That's, it sits wrong with those, those people that don't turn to Jesus. I hear a thunder in the distance. Ah. See a vision of a 
bring it back should have been dead on a sunday morning <laughs> that he has to be talking about the resurrection where christ was dead he was buried but he triumphed and he rose god rose him from the grave the marys and everybody went to go check the tomb it was empty they closed it it was empty he he, he rose he beat death he conquered it if jesus wouldn't have conquered death he would have just been another dude he would have sacri sa sacrificed himself for nothing he would have said he was sacri sacrificing himself for our sins but if he didn't beat death if he didn't conquer that There'd be nothing special about it, but he beat it because he's the son of God. He's God in human form. Come on now. How can you not clap for that? How can you not get excited and praise for that? How can you not turn to that and, and realize that, that there's nothing cultish or nothing evil about that? That is the most sacrificial, hum, humbling, selfless thing ever. The most selfless act in human history. Jesus said, I see what you're doing. God, forgive them. Lord, Father, forgive them for they don't know any better, so I'm going to take it on. And then I'm going to beat it. So when they turn to me, it all comes together. They can all find salvation. They can have guidance. They don't have to do it on their own. I'm the light. I'm the, my, my burden is easy. My yoke is easy. The burden is light. Why not turn to him? He's the, he's the way, the truth, and the life. What, what's, what's bad about that? that? Nothing. That's the way. If you don't face it, it's going to get toasty. I'm just going to reiterate because I want y'all to find him. Like how I found him. How, come on now. Let's walk. Brothers, sisters, let's go. Bro. No time for morning. Ain't got no time. Should have been there on a Sunday morning. Banging Should have been, my but then he would just be a human. He's not. No time for morning. Ain't got no time. Just run it out. What you doing? Set it to the side, no room for it. I'm sorry, Keith G, all my Creed fans and, and, and Gibby Gang family out there. I I was so into the song, so ride, trying to ride with my man who is not accepting until it was too late. He's created his own prison. I, I'm feeling bad for him, but then again, I'm not because you have all this time, all this time. We only live once. All of y'all that are going YOLO, you better YOLO your way into this Bible. That's what you need to do. YOLO your way into the Lord. That's what you need to do because you can act all, all the foolishness you want or go with all the fleshly sexual temptation and idolatry and nonsense that you want. But if you don't face the Lord, it's going to get real bad for you. I promise. I'm going to put these on. And I want y'all to put them on too. Because you got a chance right now. And 
You don't know when, when your time is up. You don't know when God is going to show his hand and say, you know what? This is the end of the line. You've had all... It's time to pay the piper. Come on now. Banger shaker. That's the real deal. There's certain bands out there that are just timeless. That they that only them can depict what the situation would be like. And I don't think any of us can really put it into context, but that Creed has to be the only ones that can make it as close to that as possible, that can reference the resurrection and revelation overall and the, the feeling of the singer I assume there was Scott Stapp and Mark Tremonti on the backing saying, saying I say, oh, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But he was banging his head his own head, his own prison that he built, that he, he laid himself out in that situation for not accepting Christ until it was too late, until Re Revelation hit. And y'all know Revelation 21, verse 6 to 8, I'm reading the ESV version. This was uh, supposedly written by John, same John, there's John the Apostle, uh, John the Apostle, y'all, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the, the Gospels. Uh, and he said to me, it is done. This is God speaking. It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. Those are the ones that accept Christ. Same opportunity that you and I have. So nobody's special. You have the chance to turn toward them and, and give faith and, and, you know, act on faith as much as anybody else. So to the thirsty, I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. The one who conquers will have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their por portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. That's Revelation 21, verse 6 through 8. You got all the opportunity in the world, like I've said, and I don't need to keep beating the dead horse, but why not? Why not tor turn towards Jesus? Why not give that a chance? The way you've been walking, it, it hasn't ended up the way you wanted to. We've all lost loved ones. We've all we all will lose loved ones. It might it, it doesn't all go how you you plan it. But again, you're not in charge. You didn't create all this. God created it, and He works it all together for the greater good. What you perceive as fair, as good, uh, evil, and and all that that's that moral law, that code that was created by God. It, it didn't come from a big bang. Who, if the, if there's a big bang, then who was the big banger? You know what I'm saying? If there were everybody, everything was created by something. So why couldn't God create everything? And why couldn't he lay out laws specifically in place for you to be responsible for you to have as many chances in the world as humanly possible from the day you're born to the day you die, no matter what you're taught in between, you have the responsibility to turn towards Jesus. You have the, the choice. He gave us free will. You have the choice to turn towards Jesus and accept salvation or not, or it's going to get real hot, hot, hot. Like you think that the stove on whatever the highest degree and the sun is, is hot and burning, try hell. I don't want to try it. So I fear the Lord. I have faith though, over fear. I have faith because I put my faith in Jesus because there's no more of a selfless person to turn to, no more of a humbling story to turn to than Jesus. Why would I not put my eggs in that basket? You know what I'm saying? The same rationale that people believe in atoms, something you can't see is the same thing with God. You can't see him. You can't, there's not going to ever be a hundred thousand percent proof but you put your faith in it. You choose to believe. You choose to say that, okay, if there is a God, and if there's a God of, of, of love, of joy, of judgment as well for my, my sins, my uh, ability to either turn to Jesus or not and to go this way or go that way, why, why if, just in case there is that, that, that option and that, that possibility, why would you not fear that? Why would you? I'm just saying, it just doesn't make sense to me. And it, it didn't always make sense to me. It doesn't It doesn't make sense why you wouldn't choose that, why you wouldn't choose to have eternal salvation and peace because all of those that turn to Jesus will be saved. So that means your loved ones, yourself, if you if you find Jesus, if you accept salvation before you die, the the, bur the resurrection and the burial, the, the all of it, the whole story, everything. If you accept that, you'll be reunited with those people and all those emotions that you have, all those fears you have, all those those doubts and everything will be washed away forever. You understand how long eternity is? It, it Forever, it's endless. Why would you not wanna be with those people that have accepted Jesus for the rest of your life? For, 
the earth is temporary. All of this is gonna fall by the wayside. You can't strap a U-Haul to a hearse. So all those material possessions, all those men, women, you you value and you hold to the utmost standard and the utmost importance. It, at the end of the day, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna get crinkly and wrinkly or we're gonna die what we perceive as too soon. And you're either gonna burn or you're gonna you know have eternal peace. I'm going the eternal peace route. I'm gonna put all my eggs and prayers and love and everything I can into this and be the best man I can be before I'm you know, called home. If you're not, you've created your own prison. Shout out to Kree for putting it into context. Uh, shout out to, to myself for, I guess, confusing the story even more than it needed to be. I'm sure some of y'all will simplify this better than me. But again, I'm I'm just a regular dude that, that loves music, that loves breaking it down and, and uh, entertaining y'all or just sharing my story and my journey with you guys So I, and girls. I appreciate all of y'all praying for you. I love you. Shout out to my man Keith G for the request and making me think as usual. Subscribe, like, notification bell if you're new. Join the Patreon fam if you want to request songs just like my man Keith, that's always an option to support the channel. You can always buy me a coffee or donate on PayPal as well. You don't have to do any of that at all. If you just showed up, again, grateful to have you. Let's keep on rolling. Let's keep on listening to great music, putting the banger shades on a little too late today, but hey, I like it. Creed has never disappointed. Y'all know I'm a Tremonti fan as well, his band. I love all these dudes. So for right now, Godspeed, I'm gone.